Peterbot and Poyo have been the most dominant team that we have ever seen in competitive Fortnite history. This duo, coming off a second place in FNCS Grand Finals, has continued this success by winning all three duo cash cup finals, as well as winning two opens as well. In the most recent duo cash cup, Peterbot and Poyo set a world record by getting five victory royales out of six attempts in the finals, not to mention them already getting six victory royales in opens, thus setting the world record. And in today's video, we're going to take a look into one of their finals game and what allows them to easily dominate these high elo lobbies. Peterbot and Poyo are landing at Grim Gates, and this is no surprise since it is by far one of the most broken POIs that we've seen in competitive history due to the fact that you get the dash coin here. However, Peterbot and Poyo have perfected this so much that any teams that seem to contest them have little to no success. And this is exactly the case in this particular match in game number five of the finals, where they land with this team and Peterbot gets the weapon here, eventually cleaning up one elimination and then using the dash feature as the opponent gets another gun and tries to push him. And he gets a free two eliminations off spawn, which gives them some surge and the ability to already get the dash coin pretty much uncontested instantly. Before they could secure the dash coin though, they end up getting third party by another team, but they're gonna take care of them easily. And this is due to the fact of their initial setup. Peterbot, as the opponents are making multiple boxes, eventually places two floors and two cones, thus cutting off angles. And now Poyo has also trapped them in on the other side, thus creating an effective pinch and essentially two 1v1s. Peterbot takes advantage of the fact that the opponent continues to make peanut butter peaks on him and he hits him for a significant amount of damage on the second shot. At this point, Peterbot commits, and this is due to the fact that Poyo has caused the opponent to overstretch here, basically trying to take a 50-50 running at him, and he uses the space he created to back off here and get the opponent without having the shield crack, thus giving Peterbot the confidence to go in and clean up the elimination, and now they're going to finally get the dash point. They finally leave their drop after securing the dash coin, and then they run into another team and notice that they're pretty isolated from each other. Poyo opens up the damage here with a nice 96 tag, and as Peterbot sees that his teammate is not coming to support the opponent they are fighting, Peterbot eventually jumps onto his opponent, cracking his shield. Peterbot looks for another angle here, and Poyo is in a very awkward situation due to the fact that he's searching the ramp here, trying to take his wall. But unfortunately, that opponent hits a bailout no smoke type, and Poyo ends up going down here. Though, Peterbot does capitalize on the fact that the opponent is weak, eventually taking the ramp from the opponent and then cleaning up this elimination, turning it into a 1v1. Now, Peterbot smartly here, instead of full committing to this fight, eventually stalls out till the opponent is finished off here. He then grabs a card, and within 10 seconds of that opponent being finished, he's already on the reboot ban to get Poyo back in the game. After Poyo gets picked back up, they immediately return to where the build fight was and go into the vault here. You're going to see Peterbot make a very important decision here to decide to carry the sniper as well as upgrade the SMG, which you know is by far Peterbot's favorite weapon if you've seen any of his solo matches. Now, they also use this room to get Poyo back up to around 200 metal since they lost a decent amount in the previous engagement. After this, surprisingly, they are not going to really get into any engagements. They decide to essentially box up near this reboot van, not really even making any edits, and just waiting for the zone to pull, knowing the fact that they have the dash medallion that they can drop between each other, as well as using the blowberry fit. Eventually, zone does pop, and they pretty much go within 15 to 20 seconds of the zone popping, using the blowberry fizz as well as the dash effects to get right up on edge here and once again box up. After boxing up, they see that another team is right next to them and they decide to play a little bit aggressive onto them. However, eventually, after not really doing a significant amount of damage or getting any opponent beat, they decide to back off here and take this fantastic positioning in this old build fight, which gives them a ton of visibility on the lobby for Surge. And due to the fact that once again, they have Dash and Flowberry Fizz, this is gonna make any rotation incredibly easy. This position change is going to pay off in so many ways. You're going to see Peterbot here get a couple of body shot snipes onto opponents, thus guaranteeing that they have a significant amount of surge. And eventually, he sees Vanillas and Convict coming late into zone. He headshot snipes one of them and immediately uses the 
dash for you, sir, to get right on the body and get an important refresh as well as some limiting. Poyo, unfortunately, though, ends up getting shot in the back here and takes a significant amount of damage. But Peterbot is going to once again clutch up here, catching Vanilla's a little bit overstretched, cracking his shield, and then cleaning up with the SMG here for some more elimination. Now, this is a 5 tick zone, but due to the fact that once again they have the dash point and Flowberry Fizz, their positioning here really doesn't matter, and they're going to once again establish on a very high layer, which gives them a ton of flexibility in their next rotation. Here. Their high layer positioning is now going to once again pay off. They use a Flowberry Fizz as well as the dash coin to go from the backside of zone right into the middle of the next moving zone. This means that all of the teams essentially are going to be flooding into them, and they use this to take advantage as Peterbot and Poya build up towards where Zone was coming from to catch this opponent off guard here as Poyo is shooting out his zone that he just edited, cleaning up this elimination, securing the body to give them once again a massive refresh before going into the next moving zone. This next rotation, they approach a little bit differently. They get a very favorable pull, and they already have a ton of space invested. So instead of looking forward this time, they actually look to the back side of zone to try and pick up an elimination, but it doesn't happen here. They once again use the Flowberry Fizz and the Dash Point to establish themselves on a high layer. Eventually, after making another rotation getting into zone, this is where they're going to make the very crucial height play. They see Rise and Iamzo on the height here, and they once again combine the Flowberry Fizz and Dash Point effect to predict perfectly landing exactly where Rise and Iamzo were, and Peterbot and Poyo end up thunder pumping Rise, thus forcing Iamzo down, where they take height and remain for the rest of the match. They don't really get any significant amount of eliminations in this endgame on high ground, however, they still play it incredibly technical. As Peterbot uses the dash and Flowberry Fizz to get ahead, about 30 seconds after taking high ground, Poyo is going to elevate a bunch of layers above and wood right below Peterbot. Just in case if the team tries to fight Peterbot, Poyo will be able to easily third party and still have high ground. And this is a common technique even seen in many metas such as Katana and Hammer, perfected by teams like Wheezy and Venom. Even despite their fragging abilities, they still play for the win in this endgame. Eventually, once they get into the last zone, Peterbot communicates to Poyo to come down and take all of his white heels, so Peterbot can go down and frag out on the opponent, and Poyo will have the ability to eventually win the heal off. Peterbot is going to go down here, and he's still going to play incredibly passive, not jumping into any boxes, and eventually, once there's three teams, remaining he's gonna get an easy double pickup on the reef and control here but go down to the cars however the communication earlier in this end game is fantastic and Poyo has a significant amount of med kits as well as chuck splashes so he can go and go early and easily win the seal off with med kits to spare thus wrapping up the most dominant duo cash grip performance we've ever seen in north america well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's VOD review. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications. And I hope I'll be seeing the next one. Peace.